Was geht ab, Alien Savages? Und willkommen zu einer weiteren uh, and welcome to another episode. I'm gonna keep sharing in English. Of, yeah, this format doesn't have a name. Maybe we can call it uh, Alien Rehab. <laughs> no, I don't like that. I don't know, it doesn't need a name. <sighs> What's up? How are you feeling? Everything is welcome. I need to fart. And I did. It's called releasing. Okay. If you're watching visually, I wear a gold chain. I, fr I bought my first gold chain. Yeah, I feel really good about it. It's real gold and I paid it cash. 22k baht, which is like 500 something euro. And it has a little dolphin on it. I really like it. Let's take a deep breath. Fully exhale. I want to share so much with you. Oh my god, I have so many stories, but I don't I, I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to get caught up in the stories, vomit all these stories on you. Because I, I have like realization, awakeness on another, 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 another level and I want to share that with you because this is one of my gifts. I can intellectually vocalize it so well. But this is fucking boring. No, I want to stay present with my feelings. And this is also, I can feel this, like, the ego wants to come out and flex with how good I can start channeling. Like, I, I really, like, whoa. Like, I'm on my scooter and I start to channel and I'm like, whoa, if I, if I talk like this on the podcast, what a flex. And I'm like, no, you don't, you don't need that. <laughs> Let's take a deep breath. Fully exhale. So let's share. It's my round of the sharing round. <coughs> I slept not at all. <laughs> I didn't sleep. No. I took a pause on the sleeping medication, Valium. I took it one night, so two nights ago, and I just like was knocked out for nine hours, which was great. I really needed that. And this night I stopped. I didn't take it, and I was wide awake. I was like laying in bed and wa was restful, but then it turned into listening to music, reading your comments, eating ice cream, eating chocolate, playing World of Warcraft, going on my scooter, driving around, listening to music, watching the sun come up, going to 7-Eleven, buying a protein shake, which was whey protein, and a smoothie. And Ricola, it's like something you chew, it's good for your throat, <coughs> doing a beach walk. And then I met Vic, uh, I met my, I think she doesn't mind calling her name, Vicky. Um, she's my, my teacher right now. I really see her now, as I said, spiritually, and I'm seeing her now physically. I'm committed to her. I'm going to see her now twice per week. And we did the session at 7 a.m., I was like, 7 a.m., this is so early. And now I understand why. Because, yeah, we're doing that awake stuff. You know, who are we kidding? Who are we kidding? So we did it. And this morning it was... Yeah, moin. Yeah, moin, moin. Yeah, let's take a deep breath. I'm going to take a sip. Hmm... I'm so grateful that I'm alive, that I made it so far in the timeline. And I'm so grateful if you're listening, and you obviously do. <laughs> Congratulations, you also fucking made it. We, are, we survived. We survived until this point. Where like it feels like 99% didn't. We made it that far. This is like the toughest game, this earth shit, being a human. This is like master decree to the max and we fucking survived 
what the fuck? So much gratitude. I'm so uh, feeling so proud of myself. <coughs> and I'm feeling so proud of you. That we like made it that far together, side by side. We're like all equals. We're all here. We're like looking at each other like, yep, you're still here. Yep, like what the fuck? Yep. I mean, I can tell you now a lot of stories about my ride, but I'd rather just like far to release. I hope you didn't hear it because I think some of you are not so comfortable with that. It's just air coming out of your body. Relax. Yeah, sometimes it smells. Often it doesn't for me and I'm outside here and it's a podcast. So calm down, okay? Humor is back. That feels good. I take another sip and I invite you to take a deep breath. Okay, the session with Vicky. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really have words for it. <coughs> Besides, this is the coolest shit ever. Wow. <coughs> Finally, I have like a teacher. And it's it's happening. And I'm actually coming more and more back in my body so I can enjoy it more and more. Uh, it was tough before. Mm, yeah, it was really... Yeah. Got a on the edge again. But she like really brought me back in my body. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> yeah. Hello, I'm here. Nice to meet you. My name is Ferdi. So yeah, she did some energy work on me again. And, you know, I didn't fall asleep. But what is falling asleep? You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So what matters, like I felt safe in my body. Mm. So then after the energy session, however long it went, what's time, you know? <clears throat> I could feel like my legs were re really sore because yesterday in the gym I trained legs. And after you like actually feel safe, your body, you know, can do all the processes, like the physical stuff of recovering and stuff and repairing. So then I was walking up from her. She has like this really amazing house and there's like this healing, like it's just amazing her house, but there's like this, this, what is it called? When you get like a massage, like these these tables where you lay on uh, they have a name but I don't know the name you know what I'm talking about so I was standing up from that and then my legs like oh okay yeah, I'm back here so much because my legs are sore as fuck because yesterday I trained like properly legs for the first time in a while and this is another thing that helps me to come back is um, getting more structure oh. and this also applies for weightlifting. And there's like the fine line of always balance. Where's the balance? Not to overstructure, not to be too flowy. And for me, right now, this is. I go to the gym whenever I'm excited, whenever I'm feeling it. And then when I arrive in the gym, I check in, put my fingerprint there, get my towels, check the situation, check the vibe. And then I feel in my body in this moment. And then actually write down a list of what I want to do today. And then I commit to it. Discipline. Discipline. Like, discipline right now helps me a lot to stay grounded. Like, these small things. Like, every morning, I, I make my bed. Discipline. I, like, make the house neat, whatever. It's like, you know, put everything on place. That feels good. Like, here, setting up my podcast equipment. Like, I have um, Räucherstäbchen in front of, in front of me. Um, incense in English. And just, like, it's a whole ritual for me. But I, like... I like, do it properly. I'm like showing up. So when I roll in the gym, I like pause. How do I feel? Okay. And now I told you about yesterday. So for yesterday, okay, I'm going to go on the treadmill upstairs because I slept pretty well. So I had like actually decent energy. I felt pretty good. Okay, I'm going to go on the treadmill upstairs and I'm going to listen to my podcast. This is what I do every day after I record the podcast and upload it. This helps me right now. So going to the treadmill listening to my podcast it's like 40 minutes then i'm gonna go down and i'm gonna train legs okay how does my leg training gonna look like i'm gonna do deadlifts squats calf raises and core exercise like these perfect crunches like with perfect i mean like you don't use momentum 
and like playing around but like just my body weight just like putting tension on my core those deadlifts squats calf raises and crunches those four exercises are my leg training this feels good for today yep i commit to it did like three sets of each one after another one rep at a time being present and like also enjoying the gym atmosphere because it crowns me a lot so i don't want to rush it at all i'm like being on my phone in the break sets doing whatever excites me replying to messages listening to messages it's so nice in the flow like still having a lot of flow actually because in the past like now i listen to all my voice messages i can listen to two and i'm full so i still have a lot of flow in it but i need to like put in solid structure again so talking about the gym this helps me a lot and then after this leg training i go to the spa this is what i wrote down and then after the leg training i stretched a little i talked to ernie he was there it was really nice i love his hugs to ernie and you could feel me he like he's like yeah a uh, fellow alien Ch like he also channels and then he was like coughing so much he was like dude i'm like i know i know oh, i know uh thanks ernie for releasing for me so this is also like a fear of mine that i like carry this heaviness right now and i don't want to put it on people because i am really powerful and even though i'm nice and everything everyone can feel it and it can overwhelm people i feel like so i'm cautious because also now that i'm in my body i can wake people up in the next level so even if i don't even try to wake them up at all just by my presence also here witnessed in this moment right now in this podcast that's why maybe if you're feeling uncrowned or uh, mm, like this podcast like self-responsibility only listen to them if you can hold it it's a lot i know <laughs> how do you think i feel haha <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i want to be extra cautious to not like put heaviness on people and too much awakeness when they haven't asked and all that so yeah then i went in the spa steaming ice bath that was nice okay i need to fart again i don't know what's going on there and yeah i'm just telling you because this is the new fairy i just share raw like this is my therapy here and i just share how i'm feeling and if i need to release air i just tell you maybe this will stop i don't know this is all this is all new to me we're figuring it out as we go and this is also the only thing that like this is th th you don't know how much this means to me this podcast this is like a big part keeping me here because I'm, I'm showing up again discipline and i'm also making it fun for me by not knowing where this is gonna go because i'm so multidimensional that i can already like fall asleep and tell you a story about certain things and you're like oh wow or what you're probably not because you're you're like me otherwise you wouldn't listen you want to have the raw stuff and you want to like linger in there where it feels expensive expensive yeah mm. it's like basically there are like two feelings is it expensive or is it con contracting and uh this is like it's all in your belly you know it's like following your highest excitement expensive expensive Oh, and contracting and nothing wrong with like feeling contracting and it's like haunting me a lot right now because i'm here in my body so this is like new for me but i'm figuring it out it's like i i, I uh, it's really wow like i look in your youtube comments and i feel immediately i just i don't even read it i feel ah oh, con contract um like expanding and then i read it and i'm like oh yeah and mm, I don't even read it, but I feel like constricted. And then I don't, I, I stopped reading it because it's just vomiting. It's just fear. It's just so much stuff comes with that that isn't mine and doesn't help me. And right now I'm like really open. So I have to protect myself to not get too many voices in my head. So sorry if I don't read your comment, but this is actually for you a space where you can help yourself. This is therapy. You're helping yourself, coming to realization, waking yourself up, 
staying sane, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, all the same shit. So keep using the safe space in the comments. I create here a safe space and keep sharing. Keep showing up. I, I, I am so proud that so many of you, they fucking hold, you, you hold me accountable. You, you message me every single day. Many of you like on Instagram, WhatsApp, YouTube comments, and you hold me accountable. And again, what helps me the fucking most is sharing your story, what you're going through. Yesterday I met with Rich, and you know what grounded me the most? Is first of all, he has this cool garage with all the wood stuff. He's amazing. I'm so, my feminine is so crushing on him. Oh my God, he, he's so cool. So if you don't know Rich, that's the guy I did the ayahuasca ceremony with. And in his basement, he has this huge garage of woodwork, like these big machines where with lasers, he cuts wood and makes it into beautiful art. So this grounded me, just watching him there, doing his stuff, listening to a podcast, talking about, would you kill Adolf Hitler as a kid? Oh, it's just like, it was just cool to hang out in this energy. Like it was really crowning for me. Uh, he did it on purpose, I know. He did it. Ooh, there's a lot of releasing going on. <coughs> so, but then what, what crowned me the most was we went upstairs, he made some tea, sitting on the porch, chilling with the cats, and you know, just talking like, hey, checking in, what's up, brother? And then he was like, you want to hear my story? How he went to through his dark night of the soul, and which isn't just a night. <laughs> if it would be just a night, oh yeah, that's great, just one night, like, I crying through, easy, it's just, no, it's not one night. For my brother, it was multiple months, many months. And for him, it was really tough. Like, my story right now, this put it in perspective. And I could connect to him, and this, this helps me the most. So if you want to help me, then put your pants down and share vulnerably. Like, with putting your pants down, I don't mean it sexually, I mean, like, like raw. <coughs> Speaking about sexually, you want to hear another of my shadows that I like really own now? Is that I'm kinky as fuck. Like I'm so kinky that it's... I don't know where, where to put it. Who can hold my kink? <sighs> so, yeah. I don't know what else to say about that. I would love to go into that if you have questions. Because I love talking about it. I know it grosses people out. They're like, oh, how can you speak like that? You're so sexual. Yeah, I'm a fucking sexual creature. And I'm kinky as fuck. And I love talking about that. And also, like, I love experiencing it and then talking about it. So... <sighs> Yeah, but I don't like. May this is all. This is all future stuff. When we maybe like we talk more about these things. When I'm like more back, and I'm like, hey, I'm so back. What do I share about? Let's do a Q and A. Let's ask me everything about kink. Let's ask me questions, and I like I want to keep sharing on this fucking ba 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 vibration, raw, 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 with my fucking gold chain on. I'm a fucking rapper. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Why did I buy this gold chain? Because it was my highest excitement. I could now tell you infinite stories why this was my excitement, but it's like all of those stories and none of them, like who cares? It was just like really my excitement. You wanna hear just one story? Okay, here's just one story. That my physical mind, hello me, is fr it's on the edge a little because it's scared because my higher self is fully in the suit now. Hello, I'm here too. Yep, both. And it puts things a lot in perspective. That my physical self, like my physical ego mind, is really small. Hello, I want to survive. I want to feel powerful too. And my higher self is here. Hello. Yeah. And it's like, ah, oh, hey, you're powerful. You are. And so cute. You're powerful. So, and it's like, there wants to be more and more room for my higher self because there wants to come something through. If you follow me for a while, I have hinted on my life theme a lot. It's happening. And for that, it like needs more and more space, like my higher self to 
occupy the suit and my physical mind is freaking a little out. It, it feels exactly like when I smoke DMT because it's this moment where the physical mind, the physical ego is freaking out because it goes to sleep for like five minutes. So I, I always had this pep talk like, hey, physical mind, we're just going to sleep for five minutes and then you come back and then you can say, DMT is horrible. I will never smoke it again. I'm in charge. I'm in control. Me, 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 me. I'm in charge. This is my body. But like this is what it's just speaking right now. It's just a little part of my soul. And now it's like, whoa, hello. So that's why, here's a story. My physical mind ego needed like, hey, I fucking need this gold chain that I'm fairy. And even when this shape-shifting shit starts, I'm going to spend a lot of time in this suit because I spent now 31 years in this body, as you see here, if you're watching visually. Hello, this is my face. And this face actually gives you a lot of comfort. You know my face. You've maybe followed me for many years. And this is your safe space. And I'm not going to let you down. I'm not going to leave you behind. So I'm going to spend a lot of time in, in this suit talking about all that shit. Hanging out. That's what we're doing here. We're hanging out. And if I have something on the mission that I need to do, where my form needs to change, I'm doing it for the mission, mostly. But then I come back to this. So it feels more comforting. And yeah, you probably see me with this gold chain for a while now. So get used to it. This is no part of the suit. I want this to make all feel more comfortable for all of us. So, but yeah, I do want to get more shirts. I, this is, when you're watching visually, this is like my favorite shirt ever. Like, I love tie-dye like this. And I actually have only one shirt that I actually, actually like. Like this shirt, if you're watching, I also like it, but it's, it's not my favorite. It's not like this. So, mm, yeah, I want to buy more clothes on the island. I want to go thrift shopping. The Actually, the Saturday night market in Tong Sala has really good stuff. This is actually where I got both of these shirts from. So, yeah, if you're on the island, Saturday evening, Tong Sala, the night market, has really good thrift shop stuff. And a shirt like this is, like, so cheap. It's, like, 100 to 200 baht, <coughs> which is, like, 3 to 5 euros or so. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm living really in butt right now. Uh, I'm not so good at the conversion. Mm, so, but yeah, but if you also, if you know cool shirts, maybe on Lazada or something, I would appreciate it. I want some more cool shirts. Because I love being shirtless, but also this crowns me. Like, I want to wear more shirts. I don't want to feel too raw. This, like, hugs me. So, yeah, oh, I'm, I'm getting nauseous. Like, I'm, I feel like I need to puke and poop at the same time. So maybe I need to stop this. Oh, because I, oh, because it's, oh, because I know, because it's about what I'm going to talk next. Do I then actually want to talk uh, about it? Yes, I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm, I'm farting so much. So yesterday I had the brilliant idea to buy my first rapé set and take rapé. If you don't know rapé, it's like this, mm, I don't know. If you don't know what rapé is, I don't want to explain it. So I bought my pipe and the powder here. There's a sto store called mm, Magic Stone. It's actually a really nice store. And then I came home. I was sitting here and I'm like, okay. Because I was like, oh, this may be a healthy replacement for cigarettes. No, no, no. It's uh, For me, it's not. It's getting me way too high. It's getting me back to ayahuasca peak. This is where I went. So I blew my first nose and I, I put it in my Insta story. Maybe you saw it. Holy macaroni, I was back to ayahuasca peak. So uh, I uh, I puked Blah, over my balcony here. And I was passing out. And it was again this shit feeling where my physical mind was like, oh, oh, overload, overload, error, error, we need to make a break, pass out. This is what happened for my physical mind, me, hello, fatty. But I'm also my higher self. And my higher self was creating that. So when I passed out, I was laying there, but I was like conscious that I created that. And then I'm like, I don't know why I did it, because I'm like, I wanted to be a man and discipline. So I was like, okay, I did one nose hole, now I'm gonna do the other. I'm gonna sit back up. I was like, Ferdi, just sit back up and do the other hole. And I whew, did it. And I, I think I also used a lot of rap here, and I'm so fucking sensitive. Oh my God, this was a dumb idea. But yeah, I did it, whatever. 
And then, oh my God, I was on peak ayahuasca feeling and I was laying there and I was losing it fully. I mean, like, I was still not fully because I was like, the edge, fucking edge. I don't like the edge. I mean, I like the edge if it feels good in my body. Then I love to sit there with you and we look down and we laugh and pee or whatever. But if it's not feeling good in your body, it's the worst, being on the edge. Then I, I want to fall over. Rather, anyways. No, I don't. I don't know. Depends what falling over means. Like, I don't want to, like... I'm I'm committed now to this timeline. I want to continue. I went too far to go back. I don't want to, like, be now a year in a clinic or a hospital and then come back to this because I know this, it leads to this. So um, I want to know, like, finish the job and get to a... Um, yeah, there's no getting to a point where it's nice. So I just want to <gasps> stay in this expansive feeling. So let's let's uh, stay here more on the podcast without bypassing. Yeah, that's the key. Mm, I'm good at bypassing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I stay in the expansive space. Oh, there's something that comes that, that like constricts. I bypass it. Ah, and uh, eventually the expansion becomes the uh, the void. The aloneness. So we don't bypass anymore. No, no, no. Lonely place. No, 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 no. So, rapé <laughs> in. I'm laying there and I'm really like, this is. Th these are the moments where I, what I, quote unquote, taught you in my previous podcast, where I'm like, you always have help. You just need to ask for help. And this was, was a moment where I needed help. I was, I was puking five times, and I was laying there and I couldn't walk. I was like so dizzy in between. And I'm like uh, saying out loud, I need help. Uh, I need help. Um, uh, Jesus? Uh. Jesus, I need you right now. I called in my brother, Jesus. No, that's not enough. I need more help. Puppy. I called in my puppy. My, my dad, he died when I was four. This made me really emotional. I cried and I talked to him a lot. Oh God, I, I was like, why, why were you not here? Why did you let me down? And then he was like, fucking stop the self-pitying. I'm here helping you from the other side, don't you see? I'm like, yeah, I see, but I want to like see you more. Like, I fucking miss you. I like scramble now together what it means to be a healthy masculine because I have nothing to hold on because I never had a healthy masculine or any a a ma a masculine in my life growing up. So this is fucking hard. Like, why didn't you like, why? I was like, why are you not coming with your Porsche? Like he's driving a Porsche where he drove a Porsche. Coming now with your Porsche. <laughs> You're on the island and like surprising me with a Tesla Model X, X and White. He fucking loves cars. He he bought cars and then he pimped them and cleaned them up and like also like did some fraud where he turned down the how many kilometers they drove and then he sold them cheap uh, and more expensive. <laughs> My dad is so badass. He's so cool. Like my dad is so cool. I don't know if you know. You don't. You don't know because you know don't know him. But like the family constellation, Brittany actually explained me what happened there because during my family constellation, I wasn't there. I was mm, bypassing. This goes too deep. I'm just not letting that in. And then she was telling me a lot that my dad is actually like really in the dark, and I try to balance it out by being super in the light. But then the most profound thing on this whole family constellation was my dad talking to me that, Fetty, you don't need to do that. Oh. I don't need to do that. I don't need to hold this light. I can't, like, no. This feels so good. So, yeah, then uh, I was also calling in God and Bashar. And then those four, like, held me. They held me down. They were like, you're going to go in your room now? We're going to help you. It's going to be tough. But you fucking got this. And I walked in my bungalow back there, and I was almost passing out. I was in the bed. And it's just like this uncomfortable feeling. Like, no, Fetty, allow yourself to fucking purge even more. So I, like, made it to the window and bleh, vom vomited out a couple more times. This is this is really important. When you're like on the edge, allow yourself to purge. Poop, burp, puke, scream, make noises. Allow it to come out of your body. Sweat, whatever, like allow it to come out. Otherwise it feels so uncomfortable and something else will happen. So yeah. Allow yourself to purge. And then when I allowed it, oh slowly it felt better. 
I got takeaway, so I was eating a cake, coming warm about it. But yeah, for me, and Vicky also said that no fucking rapé for you, Ferdi. No rapé for you. No, 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 no. And I will stop. Now even I'm happy we talked about it because now like I'm I'm really on the edge of puking and pooping. So if a rapé works for you, that's great. Like for many it's a great permission slip. For me right now, not at all. No. For me it's like my 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 trucks that are good right now is coffee, my my one coffee in the morning. Here. Let's take a deep breath while I take a sip. Chocolate, cake, and ice cream in a healthy balance. All about balance. But it's actually um, way more than... It, it's like it's like back to when I was a kid. They always eating a lot of ice cream and like chocolate. And now it's... And then, and then like my 20s when I was like bodybuilding, veganism. I was just stuffing myself with whole foods and I wasn't full. And then I was just farting so much and was bloated as fuck. But I'm like eating more broccoli. Oh, I wish I would just like eat my broccoli and then an ice cream and feel amazing. Balance. Ah. But no, extremes. And now, because I was so on the edge, so high vibe, now I like eat more. Like I eat like yesterday, I ate three 7 Eleven ice creams and they're actually not that big, like these um, on the stick or in this waffle. Mm. and then a, a whole piece of cake from hexagon mm, and some some chocolate pieces uh, and i think a chocolate bar so uh, whatever you want to call it much little for me it's this is exactly what i needed right now this was actually balance it's the addict wants to come out in so many ways but i'm keeping him in check so yeah the three trucks that are good for me right now coffee in the morning, just one, that's enough. Otherwise, it makes me crazy. Like crazy in a sense of like, oh. But in the morning, it's like, yep, that's why I can talk so well right now. Yep, showing up. And not like going in spirit and well. Oh. So coffee, chocolate, cake, ice cream. And the third one, uh, actually, Vicky also recommended it to me. Tobacco, like organic tobacco from like more the whole blend, not just the isolated nicotine with chemicals and cigarettes, but the whole tobacco in an actual pipe. So I'm excited to get an actual pipe, put some tobacco in it and just like a little bit. Because yesterday I really, like I saw people, I was like driving on my scooter and I saw people outside of 7-Eleven like smoking cigarettes and I was like, damn, I want to know smoke a cigarette. But then like I was going into, do I really want to smoke? And then it's just like the first, like just one... <sighs> just that, you know. So, yeah. If you have recommendations how to smoke um, tobacco in a pipe, if you're living on the island and can recommend where I can get a pipe and, like, organic tobacco, this would be highly appreciated because when it comes to smoking everything besides DMT, I'm a total noob. <laughs> if Brittany made fun about me how I smoked cigarettes, I was holding it so weird because <laughs> I never smoked before. Kinda. I mean, I tried it as a kid a couple times, but I was quickly like, I don't need that. And also back then, you know, it was actually great to listen to my mom a lot. She had like this deal, if we don't smoke until we're 18, she pays for our driver license. And of course I wanted that, so I didn't smoke. So yeah, mm, maybe listen to your moms more. Shout out to my mom. She actually like is a big part why I'm still in this timeline. Like things like she, like she supported me getting this apartment in Berlin. And what does that represent? Grounding, rooting, not just flying away. And she always like wanted me to stay more here. So it would be a more smooth ride for me if I would have listened to my mom more. Mom, high five. And mom, I'm sorry. But I'm still here. I survived. So it's all good. It's all good at the end. And I love you. I really want you to know that. Mom, if you're watching, I, I really hope you're watching this. I, yeah, ich liebe dich so sehr, Mami. Ich bin dir so dankbar. So, so dankbar für alles. Ich sehe dich so krass. Wirklich so krass. I see my mom so much. Like, wow, my mom is so powerful. Like, I, boah, like my whole family. Like, pff, big shout outs to my brother and my sister. And I have like this feeling my sister will be the link to like reunite my family. It's funny because 
I haven't been so close to my sister, like ever, like besides when we were kids. But now, like, I really see them all, and I'm so excited to whenever it's right. Like, I'm here. I'm I'm excited when they're like feeling more and more safe. But first, like, yeah, I also like it's like we're meeting in the middle, and we both have like a way to walk. But yeah, I'm really excited. Like, my family is also a big part to make me excited to stay here. So yeah, it always comes like back to family and friends. Christmas vibration. Yeah, just just this thought, you know, that I'm gonna spend Christmas again with my family. We're all on one table, and we're like celebrating Christmas, how we did it back then. And my mom, like, she's a champ at celebrating Christmas. I, like, these are some of my favorite memories. Like, what my mom f- has created back then there, pure magic. Like, mom, and I'm so excited to like come back as a family and like hear things and. Eventually, yeah, like, yeah, in Munich, you know, that's where I grew up. And I'm really calling it like a white Christmas where it's like snowing. Mm. And my sister, she has amazing kids. She has four kids. They're so cool. And my brother, he also has a kid. I think he actually got a second kid. So, yeah. I'm excited that it's like what a what a what a cool family. Excited to get to know them. Okay, before I start crying because I'm a little like like oh I cried so much. Yeah, I cried so much. And it's it's still a little uncomfortable for me to cry in front of the camera, so I can feel like I'm holding it a little back and then like oh be raw, but it's like yeah, it's a process, you know. I'm not I'm not used to that. And I, I just like I, I got I always get hate when I'm like being emotional. They're like, he's fake crying. He's like, and then, and then I'm like, fuck you, kid. And I fucking like close off my heart. Fuck you. And no, I don't want to do that anymore. So yeah. It's a process. It's a process. Let's take a deep breath. Okay, I think that's it. I feel pretty complete. I feel so good with my gold chain. If you're watching visually, watch now. I'm flexing it in the cam. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my physical mind speaking and this is my healthy ego. I wear a dolphin gold chain. I was like driving there like, hmm, do I want to get a Jesus cross? But I don't like, I'm not like this traditional Christianity belief. Of course, I believe in Jesus. I met him yesterday. He helped me a lot. I believe in all the gods. So I was like, oh, I don't want to get a cross. Nothing wrong with that. I loved that. I was actually considering it. And then I was like, oh, I just get a gold chain with nothing on it. And I'm like, oh, this is like so boring. I'm already like so boring. Like so, I want to come back here. So I want to, and then and then and then they had a dolphin. You know, I saw it. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting the, I'm getting the dolphin. And I love it that it's not too long because I don't like chains when they're too long because then they're like hanging and swinging, and I always need to swing them back when I'm like dancing. And it's like this, like ugh. But this one is like pretty tight and it's just like, oh, it, it, it holds me and doesn't bother me. So, um, yeah, maybe let me know if you keep your gold chains on when you're sleeping. I don't know if that is like healthy or if you can strangle yourself. But yeah, I recommend if you can afford it to also get like actual gold or actual silver. I don't know about silver, but about actual gold. This is like healthy for your skin because just that you know you absorb the material and if it's like nasty, I don't know, um, metals with chemicals and stuff and then it gets wet, it like le- leaches into your skin and maybe you don't want that. So this is like real gold. So this feels good to like, this feels, this feels good. I, wanna, I want to absorb gold. Shifting into the new golden age. Here we go. And yeah, this one, as I said, like 526 euro is like, is a lot. It's, don't get me wrong, it's like a lot. But I'm sure they also have cheaper ones. I don't know. It's also cool to like, I don't know, do whatever excites you. This is my excitement. I don't like, I don't tell you what to do at all. I'm just like sharing my experience. And I'm a fucking rapper wearing a gold chain. Da, 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 iced out, motherfucker. Yeah, what up? Mm. All right, feeling complete. Thanks for listening. Oh, yeah, and now, ah, almost forgot. Here's the lighter, you know? It's like the little mantra. 
I have the lighter in my hand, so this was my turn of the sharing round. Now I give the lighter to you, and now it's your turn to share in the comments. Many of you also write me emails. It's so funny. I, I hate emails. I, but, I, but because of you, I, I read some of them. But yeah, please, um, why don't you write lo long YouTube comments? I know Instagram is annoying because you have to split it so much. Or like write me on WhatsApp if you have my number. Oh, so much releasing. But on YouTube, I think you can write really long YouTube comments. So it's I think it's so nice to not just keep it for me and you. Like, let's share it with the world. And I don't like reading my emails. So, yeah, I'm already like emails, WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, YouTube comments. <laughs> so, yeah, let's keep it simple. Emails, I don't, yeah, I, I am repeating myself. Thanks for listening. Until next time, peace out.